Alrighty, so here we are flipped over. As you can see, there are nine animal phyla, but we only have six tables. So on some of the tables, like right here, this is the worm table. You'll notice that we have one, two, three different phyla of worms. Make sure when you pick up a specimen, you put it back on the proper side of the dividing lines. We wouldn't want anyone to get confused about what members belong to which phyla. To help us out, there's little like notes on the table. And it also refers to a page in the textbook from the appendix called the diversity of life. So you'll notice like Phylum platyhelminthes is on the diversity of life, page 39. Here we are, page 39. So if the book page get flipped, you can easily find some information. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna bask in their diversity. We've got some echinoderms over here. Over here we have some mollusks, etc. Any that are in these like old jars or look ancient, absolutely do not open them. Uh, there's poisons in there. Some of them are irreplaceable specimens. Most of them are in stuff we're not allowed to use anymore. So no opening them. This over here on the arthropod table though, which is right here in the middle, you can open these. These have some pill bugs or roly polies. And if you give it a little shake a just lightly back and forth, you should be able to see some of them scurry about. So that's kind of fun. You can look at them. There's two of those on there. Those are the only containers that are closed that you can open. Please do not put the lid on tight. They need air, so just loose lid it. While you're doing these, you're gonna pick two. Now some of these like Cordata table has a lot on there. You're just gonna pick two of them. You're gonna draw a sketch of two different specimens that represent your phylum. And then you're also gonna take some notes. And to help you with the notes, that's what the diversity of life pages are for. You'll notice phylum chordata has quite a few. When we look through the book, you got chordates, chordates, more chordates. These first two pages, that's not all chordates, just weird non-vertebrate ones. There's a whole bunch of other features here as well. Let me show you where those are gonna go. They're gonna go on your cladogram. So you have your cladogram, right? And you should have your phylum names all laid out on it. So what you do when you open it, if you open it like this, then you'll have like a little cheat sheet where you can just copy the phylum names over to where they could go on the inside. So what you're gonna do when you open it up, this line here will be above this line is just for phylum periphera. So you'll do sketch, sketch, description, as you can see right in the dotted areas, sketch, sketch, description, and that would be for Nidaria. So while you're doing this lab, you'll notice there's not a whole lot of room at all the tables. I don't want to see any more than five people at a table at any given time. This is an individual lab, so you don't need to wait for your partners. Be careful. Like I said, a lot of these are fragile. You can touch them, but be gentle, be respectful. We're going to do this lab for two days, so it should be a lot of fun. Any questions? Go ahead and uh, get on after it.